Conversations with the Dead by Stephen Wayne Anderson, 1990, California State Prison, San Quentin, San Quentin, California. These are the graves of the executed ones, he announced with a somber, indifferent kind of respect. And yet later, in quiet reflection, I understood his tone came up out of that secret reservoir of the soul which knows I too could end up as forgotten dust, I too might die for nothing. Often now I think back upon my journey through that phantom land, a land caught like evening haze at dusk, soon to perish into the gathering darkness of night, but for one brief moment, beyond time. I recall its mute, mouthless people, inhabitants of a dark land whose hopeless, dying eyes gazed dully at my passage from their skullish heads. They saw me only as a traveler who wanted nothing and took nothing from them. They knew only that they were not harmed. I remember the aura which lay like heavy blankets over that tortured land, an aura of scarred spirits vanquished by the horrible vendetta of an angry god. I remember the excited buzz of feasting flies as they drank still warm blood, ate the still quivering flesh, and lustfully gorged themselves on all the disappointments man can devise. I remember, as if it were now, the picture of a burned statue of the Virgin Mary and the image of a small child kneeling in prayer before it, weeping for a murdered mother whose name also was Mary. I recalled those I too have slain, those by my wrath seized, stolen from life, becoming but candles lit by children who became adults before childhood lived. I recall their dying, their sparks fading, gone like that, out, returned to the void, nothing. These are the executed ones, he said. I recall standing there alone, filled by the putrid odor of stinking jungles, sun-scorched deserts, savage streets, knowing the drowning sensation of my own awakening, pulling me down into the swirling cauldron of enlightenment. I recall how a warm wind brushed my face and then was gone. I remember touching a grim stone, experiencing how that dust had lived born of anguish to laugh, make love, and perhaps do it again tomorrow until at last death came. Speaking of one other place to be consumed by life, that stopping place where I, too, found these things. These are the executed ones, he stated, eyes small sparks, and then was gone, dissolving into the umbra arts of night, leaving but those sparks which smolder in my soul like candles surrounding the powerless and charred virgin's image in a chapel. These are the executed ones, he announced, studying a horizon of tombstones. Pray for them, and for those who come.